it's Jennifer Elizabeth with Perry Picola's Blogs. Welcome back to my channel, and if you're new, welcome. Today's video is part of an open collab, and that collab is called hashtag ATCMDC Open Collab. It's hosted by three channels, Tony at Creative Chica Halls and Crafts, Cat Cass and Cali, and Kimmy's Kitchen and more. I'm gonna have links to those three channels in the description down below. And basically, since it's an open collab, you can pretty much do whatever you like as far as making an ATC card or an MDC card or even both of them and sharing them with everyone watching. So what I decided to do today, and if you hear any, before I say that, if you hear anything in the background that is Gianni playing right beside me, so, um, but yeah. What I decided to do today was I wanted to challenge myself to do some Christmas ATC cards as well as some Valentine's Day ATC cards. And I wanted to do that using the same um, paper packs because instead of purchasing all new paper packs for Valentine's Day, I mean, I have purchased a lot of different supplies for Valentine's Day, but I did not get the paper packs this time. I did not get these um, big recollections paper packs though for Valentine's Day or the six by six either. I figured I would use what I already had. So I chose these three um, paper packs. This one, this one, Christmas Cottage, and this one right here. And I looked for papers, I looked for the pages inside that would basically work for both Valentine's Day and for, um, Christmas because I'm still working on my Christmas junk journal slash scrapbook and I'm also starting a new um, Valentine's Day spring themed junk journal. So let's do the Christmas ones first and then I will show you the Valentine's Day ones and I'll quickly review just a couple of the supplies I used in addition to these um, cards. So and in case you don't know an ATC card, um, what I'm focusing on right now ATC card. So I'm going to tell you they are the dimensions of 2.5 by 3.5. You can use a standard um, card. That's basically the same size as a standard playing card because they're meant to be altered and then traded or used um, in friend mail, used for decorations, journals, anything like that. So these ones right here, so I started by taking, picking the papers, like I said, that I think matched both Christmas that could be interchangeable for both Christmas and Valentine's Day. So I just basically um, sized everything and then glued the two paper papers together. And this is the first one that I did. I went through a bunch of my different stickers. I'll show you the ones that I used. Um, some are from Romwe, like these ones right here from Romwe. These ones are from Tamu. And then I also used washi tape and other random stickers that I had. Tried to go with a vintage theme for this. And then on the back as well, another vintage theme. The next one that I did was right here. And then these um, gems right here are from Dollar Tree. So this is the second one. The Christmas ones I kept very, very uh, clean and simple basically. I just wanted the, um, the stickers because they were vintage looking to just kind of speak for themselves. So I didn't put a ton of extra bling on them. And then this one right here is the last one. So those are the Christmas ones that I made. Now the Valentine's Day ones that I made, I used the exact same um, papers. I just glued them together. Um, so yeah, so you can see that you can multi-purpose so many of your craft supplies. But yeah, these right here... I, I tried to really go with like romantic, vintage. <laughs> Sorry, Gianni's really playing. He's really making a lot of noise. Sorry about that. But um, yeah, I just wanted these to look really, really, really sweet. So these stickers um, are from Tamu. And then I use this right here. I think they're so sweet. I love this vintage right here. I love the vintage look of this one. And then we have this one right here. And this is the back. Then we have this one right here. I love these cats. So pretty on that fan. And then this right here. And the last one is here. And here. So what I used for supplies, um, 
This is from Dollar Tree and I basically just um, measured them and trimmed them. The glue stick that I used is right here. I use this for a lot of my journals, um, junk journals and things like that. The Elmer's Craft Bond Extra Strength. Looks like this. You can get it um, anywhere really. I get them on Amazon sometimes, sometimes Walmart, sometimes Michaels. Um, next, I used this right here. This I got from Timu. It is a 10 pack of washi tape, Valentine's Day themed. This is still on their website as well, and it's uh, part of the 90% off because they're doing that for Valentine's Day. Then I got these gorgeous stickers as well from Timu right here. So I used these. Um, let me see. This one right here is also from Timu. It was one of these Christmas packs. I used the little stamp type stickers from here for this. And then these really gorgeous, beautiful ones right here. Um, the, like the romantic Valentine's Day ones are from this pack right here from Timu. And then I have this six piece washi, again from Timu. And these stickers right here, let me show you. I used these ones. This is actually from Romwe and like this right here, this sticker right here is from Romwe. This one right here, they all came out of this really cute little pack right here. And these actually I got last year after Christmas, but they have these a lot of times on their site. And again, this is another item that especially after Christmas is going to be very, very cheap um, to purchase if you can get your hands on it. Definitely worth it getting it discounted like that because these are super cute. Okay, so this is what they look like all together, the Christmas ones. I'm just going to flip them over so you can see the other side. <laughs> can't believe Gianni's... See, I, I wanted to film this today. Usually I'll film in the studio, but I wanted to get this video up early enough, so I'm filming it. Um, and Gianni is just definitely having a blast playing, but that's real life, right? This is what the back looks like. And now let me... And now let me show you the Valentine's Day ones. This is what this side of the four of them together look like. And then I'll flip them for you. And these I'm gonna be using um, in the little pockets and envelopes and things like that in my Valentine's Day junk journal slash scrapbook. And then the Christmas ones I'll use in my Christmas one. I hope that you guys like the ATC cards that I made. These are super, super fun and easy. You don't need any fancy supplies. Whatever you have at home, you can use. That's why I tried to focus on you know, doubling up for Christmas and Valentine's Day just to show you how easy it is to just utilize what you already have. So yeah, I hope that you guys like the ATC cards that I made. I cannot wait to um, include them in my journals and I'll share the journals with you in a flip through as I get um, more done on them. But thank you so much for watching. Definitely check out the three channels that are hosting this collab, Creative Chica Halls and Crafts, Cat, Cass and Callie. Kimmy's Kitchen and more and thank you so much for hosting this collab it's such a great one and so much fun and also put in that hashtag and check out everyone else's videos as well in this collab and show them some love thank you so much for watching please don't forget to comment down below like this video hit that subscribe button and the post notification bell so you know next time I upload and every time I upload have a wonderful day I'll see you all in the next one bye